The average age of almost a million licensed physicians in 2018 was 51.5 years. The consensus conducted by the Federation of State Medical Boards, or FSMB, concluded that the average age of its workforce rose by almost one full year since 2010. Yet many experts believe that both of those statistics underestimate the trend of an aging physician workforce. The medical professional workforce is so old that there will be a shortage of almost 150,000 doctors by 2025. That fact still holds true even if medical schools increase their enrollment. The point I'm trying to make with all this isn't to explain the healthcare industry's workforce shortage, which falls outside of the scope of this video. It also isn't to make you feel bad, especially if you're a doctor who falls in any of the age ranges that I highlighted before. Instead, it's to point out that retirement is in sight for many doctors. The average age of retirement is almost 70 years old in the United States, so the majority of doctors are a part of an aging workforce that has devoted the last 20 plus years to the medical industry. Retirement is a well-deserved phase in life that means more time for relaxation, traveling, and visiting with family and friends. But before you get more time to devote to improving your backswing, there's a lot of planning that needs to take place beforehand. Of course, I'm not referring to which golf course you should choose to play. Instead, I'm talking about making your official retirement announcement to your coworkers and, more importantly, to your patients. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Tactics, and today I'm going to show you five effective physician retirement letter examples. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The tone you use throughout your retirement letter is the most important aspect of the entire document. Since you're writing a letter about yourself and your next stage in life, you should make it as personable as possible. Tell your patients how long of a career you've had, how much of an honor it's been to serve them, and when you plan on retiring, and what you plan on doing during your retirement. Each of those talking points helps encourage the celebration of you and your accomplishments while thanking your clients for the privilege that they provided you with taking care of them. There are design elements you should consider adding in as well to further personalize what you're sending to your clients. Adding your practice's logo, a picture of yourself, and your signature at the bottom are all nice touches that can go a long way in making your retirement letter more personable. This example letter from Long Pond Pediatrics looks very professional and includes personal elements. If you wanted to take it a step further, you could add personal anecdotes to each letter. It will take more time since those wouldn't allow you to mass produce what you said. However, what you add could go a long way in having your patients celebrate with you. As I mentioned in the introduction, retirement is something to celebrate. However, retiring as a licensed physician is a much more involved process. If you don't go through the proper avenues at the end of your career, you could face some serious legal ramifications. Now, I've already mentioned that you should write the letter yourself and be as personable as possible so that your patients can celebrate your achievement with you. However, you should always consult with a healthcare attorney after you've written your final draft. Have the lawyer take a look at the letter that you plan on writing to ensure that you're covering all of your bases so that you don't have to run into any accidental legal issues on your way out the door. This example from Atlanta Allergy and Asthma does a great job of announcing retirement and offering assistance to those patients who need to switch their provider. Another add to include in your retirement letter are your recommendations for physician replacements. It's a best practice to give recommendations for adequate replacement physicians so that you don't end up with a claim of patient abandonment. Hopefully, the doctors that you're recommending aren't in the same situation as you and toward the later stages of their careers. You don't want to recommend to your patients that they switch their doctor to another professional you know only has a few more years left in their career. If you don't know of any replacement physicians who aren't close to retirement, you have some research to do. Although it isn't the prettiest looking physician retirement letter, this example from Safe Care Medical Center is a perfect example of incorporating replacement physician options. Although sending a physical letter through the mail is likely the most effective way to let your patients know that you're retiring, it isn't the only option you should have to count on. As I'm sure you know from years of experience trying to collect payment from your patients, sending mail doesn't always work. Physical mail opens up the potential to address errors, whether through typos or because the patients you sent your mail to end up moving. Furthermore, your patients have preferences as to what they like to stay in communication with you based on what generation they're a part of. Keeping all this minutia in mind matters for your retirement letters as well, especially when you consider the legal ramifications at stake. The solution to all of this is to transfer your letter into a digital format. Of course, there are a few digital formats that you should consider. First, you should turn it into a social media shareable image, like this one from CVFP Medical Group. Its original purpose was to announce Dr. Kim Wright's retirement on their blog. However, due to its format and its size, it's also perfect to post across social media channels that CVFP uses and or included in an email newsletter that might get sent to their patients as well. The healthcare industry is an aging population. As I highlighted at the very beginning of this video, it's aging at such a rapid pace 
that there's going to be a physician shortage. Although that means a higher rate of burnout for medical professionals who are coming into the industry right now, there's nothing you can do personally about the shortage. Anyways, there are best practices to keep in mind while drafting your retirement letter that helps your patients, protects you from potential legal ramifications, and kicks off the celebration. The example letters and announcements that I provided with you in this video provide you with great references to use as the basis for your own retirement letters. If you'd like to learn more about announcing physician retirement letters, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.